Okay, I really like these cups. There's no marking on them. $3 and there's only three of them. But I'm gonna go ahead and take them and put them in my cart because I really like these. A little bit different in sizes. I almost don't mind that. All right, let's look for the fourth one. Okay, this piece wins the award for the most imaginative napkin holder I've ever seen in my life. Somebody made this. That is not bad if you have a beach house. Okay, do I want this? $5. Okay, I know this is crazy. I am putting this in my cart. Not marked. Oh, is it marked? There is a small marking on the bottom. I don't know if that's just like a scratch or if it is signed. That's crazy. Never seen that. All right, let's take it. Oh, is a little bird pitcher? Oh, it should have been a pitcher. It's not MCR. Oh, MCR. Why didn't you make it a pitcher? That would have been so cute for creamer. So the real question is, do I need a ceramic owl? He's really good. He's got that old hairy felt that needs to be cleaned. So it is a hobbyist piece, looks to be. Mm. I know people love owls, but I don't know that they love realistic owls like this. $10, I think that's a little bit high for a no-name owl. He is cute. He'll scare away all the mice in your house if you have mice. Look at this liquor bottle. Well, right away when I pick it up, it doesn't feel old. Maybe my hand is finally learning glass. <laughs> I doubt it. Oh, it's got a big chip. All right. On another note, I put some extra things in the cart when you weren't looking. This bed warmer, $7. It's kind of like, I don't know, this is copper over brass. So I'm probably not holding on to that. Can't imagine this is worth more than 15 maybe. I'm actually gonna put that back on the shelf right here. And we have some brass candle sconces made in India. Again, I might put this one back, but I didn't get this one from here, so I'm gonna put it back where I found it. We also found a camera. This is a Kodak, looks like an Instamatic. I always have to use the model numbers to look these up to run a comp, but I will do that. It is the Kodak EK6 Instant Camera. Not sure of the date on this. It does have the paperwork, which is great. Let's take a look in here. Oh, it's got one of the flash. Oh, look at that flash. How retro is that? Sylvania. I don't know. This has got to be 60s. Let's see the graphics on the book. Oh, maybe 70s. Let's see if I see a date. USA. I do not see a date. There's got to be a date for this booklet. All right, well, I'm not going to go through this now, but I will run a comp on it and report back to you guys what this would bring. They want $3.99 for it. So definitely worth looking up. So I just found this on the shelf. This is all handmade. It is a little bird with a lever. He sits on like a round drum. That's what it looks like. And I'm like, what is this? Look at that wood. So it looks to be vintage. And when you push the lever down, the drawer opens and the bird must eat something. How great is that? I think it might be missing a piece up top, although I don't see any nail holes. Do I want this for $4.99? Absolutely, yes. Okay, it does have a little bit of a flaw here, a piece of wood missing, but I'm still gonna take this. This is handmade, amazing. I love this thing. This candlestick lamp is quite lovely. Let's pull this off, $4.99. I don't see any chips or cracks. Okay, so it doesn't even look like it's used. Meant to be a votive holder or a tea light. And it's got a beautiful painted cardinal on it. Well, let's stay. Okay, so winter greetings every day candlestick lamp. That is just so sweet. $5. I'm going to grab that. I think that's going to be a good seller. Okay, so what animal do we think this is? I thought it might be a polar bear. 
Do polar bears have polka dots? <laughs> and he's only got polka dots on one side. Mark Japan, so he is vintage. I don't know. I think I would buy him if he had polka dots on both sides, but that's just a little bit odd. I did find Lillian Vernon glass ornaments made in Germany for Lillian Vernon. And when we open it, they are glass ornaments for a baby girl. I'm gonna have to check that they're all in good shape, but $3 and it comes with its box and it's already packed. Look how cute that is, adorable. So I will make sure that the ornaments are all in good shape, but for $3, we're grabbing that one. Running a comp on eBay for the Canon Instant Camera, it's an EK6, as you can see, <laughs> 94 cents this one went for. This one has the original box, 1995, $20, $9.99. So that's why it's so important to run comps. And this is the rare clear instant camera transparent. So the camera itself was clear and it brought $1,200. It was the display model. So if you find the Kodak EK6 as the display model where it was a prototype and the box of it was clear, you want to hang on to that one. Otherwise, this one goes back on the shelf. This little dish is catching my eye. Definitely modern. Looks like a turtle shell. Imagine this is Home Goods or TJ Maxx. Kind of cool though. Not getting it, $7. I think if this was a dollar or two, I'd probably pick it up. I think somebody would love this, but not at $7. So back on the brown aisle. Oh, tabletop lighter. I think the wood is real. Kind of hard to tell. I don't see any marking. Let's turn it over. Rose art, oh, Zippo, genuine Zippo. What does that say? It says Bradford, Pennsylvania. Okay, I'm thinking that's gotta be at least 1960s. And I think it's real wood, $2.99. I'm putting that in my cart. Look at that felt. That is a good little find right there. I've been down this aisle three times. Were you sitting here the whole time? $6.99. Looks to be vintage. Definitely wood. Is he a ladle? He could be a ladle. That is super sweet. $6.99. I'm taking him. I have actually sold these before. I think these are the vintage ones. Looking for a date. I think the ones I've sold were in the plastic egg. But I should look these up. Everyday support. Somebody might want those. So I'm going to take those. And right behind it, we have a little dollhouse vanity. Do the drawers open? Sorry, so sorry. Not sure if the drawers open or not, but for $2.99, I'm gonna take that too. Don't see any chips. Very sweet. All right, I am just about to quit for the day. I'm kinda tired today, so I'm gonna give myself a break. I did find the blue ornaments for having a baby boy, Lillian Vernon, $3.99. I'm gonna take those, and I'm also gonna take this rattan uh, little curio shelf situation. What do they want for it? $6.99, I should always check what they want for it before I say I'm taking it. I really like this, and shipping will not be a problem. A Little bit big, but very lightweight, and this is more sturdy than you think. The last item I wanna show you came out on one of the new carts. I don't think this is Fire King's Jadeite, but this color is always popular. I do think it's a little bit older. It is the double tab handled mixing bowl, and it, all it has is a number 35, if I can tell what that says. But I think it's definitely worth the $7, so I'm going to take that. All right, I think that's it, guys. Hit that like and subscribe button. And as always, go out and get what's yours. Good morning. We are at Mount Joy Gift and Thrift. Today is Friday morning. It is a little bit after 9, 9.04, and the store opened at 9. So I am just racing to get in there. Today is 50% off all necklaces. So that's what we're going to zero in on, trying to get lots of necklaces. You guys love the jewelry. Let's get into Mount Joy Gift and Thrift and see what they have. Okay. Not too many cars in the parking lot, so hopefully, hopefully it's not a race. <laughs> Although I do love a good race. Oh, this is super cute. I know I need to stay focused, but 
This is adorable. Look at those little shelves. Oh, it must be for CDs. That's very fun. Did somebody make that? $40. All right, we're also going to look at what sale is going on. Hello. It is red tag, 50% off this morning. Okay, definitely going to come back to this section. Oh, I like this planter. I got to get to necklaces. This is home, $19.99. Boy, that's pretty. They want $9.99. All right, I see a few things I want here, but we're going to go right to jewelry. All right, it's hard to pass all of this up because this is my favorite section. Oh, what is this? Look at this guy. I need to know. Okay, stay focused, Karen. Get to necklaces. All right, so necklaces are back here, also on the wall. So we're just going to go through quickly... And I'm going to just go by eye, not running comps, anything like that. And I should pay attention to prices so I know what I'm paying. So all of the necklaces are 50% off for their spring fling sale. So again, this is Mount Joy Gift and Thrift. Oh, I like this bow necklace. This is sweet. What do they want? $7. Their prices are so good here. We're going to grab that. This is quite pretty too. I should put glasses on $4, so this is gonna be $2. Take a look at that. That's kind of pretty. How much do they want for that $4? I like the just daintiness of this. If that's a if that's a word, daintiness, that's a word. That's a word. Alright. You guys really seem to like the turquoise. So we're going to take a look at the turquoise. Turquoise is a beautiful color, I have to say. All right, see this? You guys love stuff like this. Let's see what... $4, right? Is that what that says? Yep. We're going to take that one. That's a little bit quieter. Oh, I see a sparkly one. Let's move things around here. Look at this. Oh, that is stunning. I really like that. What is the price on that? Five dollars, so that's going to be two fifty. Isn't that pretty, guys? All right, here's some black ones. They're even color coded, sorted by colors. This is a big chunky bauble one. I love a good bauble. Do we love a good bauble? Yes, we do. Okay, well, let's see what this one is. Okay, that's kind of pretty. That reminds me of, like of a southwestern look. Huh. What's the price on that? Let's take a look at that one. $5. It's got like a milky white stone to it. Kind of pretty. We're going to take that one. What is this here? It's like a flower. Okay, let's see if I can get this off. Oh, I feel like I looked at the bracelet last time of that. Okay, their jewelry selection is just beautiful. All right, we're going to take this one, too, if the price is good. $3.50. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, this is a bib necklace. I think this might be Chico's. That is very pretty. That would look lovely, like on a black sweater. Okay, we're going to take that. Wow, these are very long. These could almost be worn as belts. Look at this one. That is a very long necklace. What is the price on that? Let's take a look at that. I want to make sure I'm grabbing the correct one. Okay. Huh. What do you think, guys? Why is this so long? That's got to be three feet and then doubled. Very interesting. Looking for where the clasp is. I think this is just over the neck, so it becomes a multi-chain. We're going to give that a go. I think I'm going to put some of this on the counter. Ooh, what is this guy? Oh! <gasps> It's a stork. Okay, so do you wear this to give people the message that something's going on in your life? That there's a big event? I'm not quite sure. Different birds. A zebra, that is very fun. I always love this color. It reminds me of hematite. Do you guys know hematite beads? So beautiful. Oh, the blues are pretty. Let's take a look at the blues. 
Oh yeah, this is lovely right here. I'll try to get this one off. I don't know if this is two or one. Oh, that is lovely. Okay, five dollars. So we're gonna take that. It's a blue with a silver intermittent bead. Here's a cobalt blue. Oh, that's quite pretty. I like that one. Make sure all the stones are there. They are. Five fifty. Oh, that's so pretty. I might wear that. <laughs> All right, what else are we seeing here? Is anything jumping out at you? See some bracelets. Now, the bracelets are not on sale. Oh, I like this. I like when beads have this little, this little collar. I'm sure there's a name to that. We're going to go ahead and see what the price is on that. This, again, might be Chico's. $5, so $2.50. I do like the gold chain. That is lovely. Six dollars. We're gonna take that one for three. Okay, let's get into some of the gold tone. Oh, a letter P. Okay, for Patty, or Polly, or Patricia, Paula. <laughs> I could just go on and on. All right, gold chains. Oh, this is kind of pretty. Very lightweight, which is nice. Huh, I've never seen something like that. It's like separate pieces. I'm not sure what to think about that. Oh, I see something back here. Okay, so this is new in package, and it has like a tassel made out of chain. That's very interesting. Oh, I do like these clear beads. We're going to go ahead and take that. Here is a metal piece, kind of like a, I don't know what to call this, enamel. It is a painted enamel. I think I'm going to take this one off too. Let's see if I can get this off without running the whole display. Okay, we're taking this one. So pretty. Oh, there's a little owl I have in my hand. I didn't even realize that we're taking him too. Okay, so that was the wall back there. We might revisit that again. Should we revisit it now? I don't know if I saw all of that. Did I see all of it? Mm, I might have skipped some of it. Let me just quickly go back and do an overview. Sometimes they do that stand back to see what catches my eye because when there's hundreds of pieces, very hard to, you know, see each individual one. Oh, this is interesting. Look how pretty that is. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to come over to the case and counter and just quickly pick up the pieces that we like. This is lovely, too. It almost seems like one should be hanging here. Oh, I do like the orange. That is so pretty. How much is this one? Four fifty. That's a pretty color. Again, a bib necklace. And I like that it's kind of like free form. That's very pretty. Wow, look at it all down there. Okay, we're gonna want some of that for sure. And I love that they leave the case open. Here's a braided bead situation. That's quite lovely. Oh, I like that blue and rhinestone. You know me, guys. I love all the bling. All right. I'm going to see if I can just grab that one. See what the price is on it. Three fifty. Oh, how pretty is that? That is so pretty. We're going to go ahead and take that one. I'm also seeing bracelets. Bracelets are not on sale, but with these prices, three dollars. Look how pretty that is. It's on an elastic. I do like this one. This almost reminds me of Pandora a little bit. That's lovely. What is the price on that? That is $3.50. We might take that anyway. It's on a stretch. I'm always hesitant with these stretch elastic, but it is nice that it fits anybody's wrist. All right, I'm going to think about that. Let's stay with the necklaces. This is interesting with roses. Do we want that? Not sure. There's the one that I saw last time. 
Ooh, look at that one. This is lovely. Okay, it's like a gold sparkle, and it's like bezel set. Very interesting. Okay. I've seen this one before. This is like a topaz. Oh, that's pretty. The weight on this is nice. $5. And I like the chain. We're going to go ahead and take that one. What is this? It's got a tassel again. A little bit lightweight, which is nice for necklaces. All right, we're gonna gently pull the glass this way. Oh my goodness, that is so sparkly and pretty. $4.50. Oh, I really like that one. Okay, again, oh, it's not on stretch band. Did somebody make this? This is on fishing line, like filament. Well, is there a clasp? I am not seeing a clasp, but look how gorgeous this is. I wonder why they would make it on a non-stretch. And I have a tiny hand. Oh, it is stretched, but barely. Oh gosh, that's so pretty. I wonder if that fits me. I'll be all this and that wearing that. <laughs> oh, the rings are pretty. Oh, I think that's a toe ring, right? When it's open in the back like that. Is that a toe ring? Well, maybe it's just adjustable. Quite lovely. It's just a circle. Oh, this is beautiful. I think we're going to go for this one. What do they want for it? Four dollars. Okay, let's look up top on the counter and see what we see. Okay, so we're starting on the counter. Look at this beautiful piece, 350. Oh, I really like the colors. That's gorgeous for summer. And I also like this piece here, $5. So that'll be 250. I'm gonna take both of those. I should just take it all. <laughs> Oh, this is nice. This has nice weight to it. Five dollars. That's quite pretty. The baubles are on chain, which is very nice, instead of just a, a filament cord. Okay, this has a little, little lifesaver shaped <laughs> charm. Okay, we have one more room of necklaces. There are necklaces in the main room. So we're gonna go take a look at those. Oh, I love the colors on this. Very soft, romantic, beautiful. $4. This would even be nice for wearing with a jean jacket, in my opinion. I really like this one. I might have to wear this once or twice before I sell it. Yep, sometimes I do that to enjoy a piece for a little while. This bracelet is interesting. Little teardrop pearls, $5. That is gorgeous. All right, I think that finishes at least the first round of necklaces. Seeing if I'm seeing anything else that I missed. I think we are good. Oh, this is pretty. $6. I think that may be marcasite. We're gonna scoop that one up. So beautiful. Here is a little snapshot of the necklaces we got. All half off, that was a great deal. And also got a Vera Bradley that is on sale 50% off. So this was $15, I paid $7.50. Very clean, in really nice condition. And it'll probably take me, I'm guessing guys, probably about a week. So this video will be out Sunday, I should have all of this listed by the following Sunday. So groundbreaking on the new edition is going to be happening very soon. And I am trying to set up kind of like a mock bathroom in my dining room. That is what I've come up with so that when the addition is done, I can just have everything installed and we are ready to go. So right now I do have the vanity and both mirrors. I have settled on this Nautica home mirror. It is a wood frame. 
I'm going to kind of come in close so you guys can see it. And of course, there are two of them. We are staying with the lighting that Roger chose. I like it very much. This is Home Depot, and I have two of them. The other one is down on the floor here. So it's just home decorators, and it is a brushed nickel. And what else? We are up to trying to choose the tub. So we're going to do a glass walled shower, and I have picked a white subway tile and um, this quartz marble or quartz stone, I should say, is what we are topping the walls with and building the bench out of. And now I have to pick a tub. So how does one pick a tub? Well, apparently you go from store to store sitting in tubs. <laughs> I did find a tub I very much like because I Googled top trending jetted tubs or something like that. And I'm going to insert a picture of the tub that came up in that Google search. Now, it does have air and jets, which I love, but it does have a light thing going on. I don't really want to feel like I'm at a disco when I'm bathing, but I'm thinking we're going to give that one a go. And that one's on Amazon and also in Home Depot or sold through Home Depot. The problem is neither one of these places can you sit in the tub. And that has become my hobby lately, going from store to store, sitting in tubs to see if they're comfortable. So I'm gonna insert photos of the tubs that I like. You guys can vote on them, what you think. And like I said, it's just gonna go, you know, it's a standalone tub. And I might put my Pottery Barn chandelier above it. So right now I have a Pottery Barn chandelier above my bed and I think I'm gonna put it above the tub. So leave a comment if you like that idea. All right, so I'm gonna show you my bedroom with the chandelier for those of you who haven't seen it and let me know if you think it would look pretty above the tub or if I should just have it installed above the bed in the master bedroom or I should say primary bedroom. All right, besides that, I think we're done collecting wood items. I don't want to get too woody. And Roger brought this bowl home the other day. Well, he brought it to my house. It's not our home yet, not quite yet. And it is a very heavy wooden bowl. You can see he paid $12.99 for it. I don't know that we're going to use it in the bathroom per se, but look at the size of this thing. It's beautiful. So, um, yeah, thinking about that. All right, let me show you the Pottery Barn chandelier and let me know which tub you guys think would be a good fit for the bathroom. All right, so this is the chandelier that hangs above my bed. And the story goes that I actually found the same type of chandelier. I believe it was either the larger or the smaller in Goodwill. And I wound up selling that and taking the profit and buying the one that fit in this room. So this is from Pottery Barn. I think it's the Mia, M-I-A. And I love this chandelier. So I really don't want to sell it. This is my primary bedroom, my bedroom. And this is going to be Roger's office. Nice big room. And he needs a bigger office than I do. And I'm in love with my office, so I would keep it. But vote whether you guys think I should take this chandelier and put it above one of the tubs or if you like it above the bed. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Go out and get what's yours.